Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and again we are back with a new data set information. So here the name is squad. So it's uh, earlier version 1.1 is also available. So here you can see that explore 1.1 or the you can explore the version 2.2. So here is the home and we are already at home. So if you want to just click, you can verify it. Then it's called stands for the Stanford question answering data set. So obviously it's a text data set. So modality is text. And uh, the uh, information about this particular data set that it's a reading comprehension data set, which consists of different questions posed by the crowd workers on a set of Wikipedia articles. So when we have this sort of uh, data set, then obviously so much, uh, so many different questions come into the picture. So here you can see that uh, uh, around uh, one lakh questions are there. And uh, in this way, 50,000 are unanswerable questions written adversarially by crowd workers. So it looks similar to the website ones. And uh, similarly, the other metrics related to this particular data sets are available on the site. So if you want to get into more details, you can have a look onto the ledger board, then it will show you that this does the ability of a system to not only have the answer reading comprehension questions, but also to have the kind of abstinism when presented with a question that cannot be answered. Okay, so you can have a basic idea that what sort of intentions are behind the development of this particular data set. Now, if you want to test your models, uh, then they have also made uh, some of the available evaluation scripts. Uh, so you can go and have a use of those sort of uh, resources. Additionally, the copy of the data set is also distributed in the Creative Commons license. So you can go and have the uh, use of uh, training set as well as the development set. And both links are provided here. And then the evaluation script, the sample predictive files, and the submission tutorials, everything is available here. So I think it's a very good data set. And if you're interested in the um, kind of exploration and analysis with respect to text or some question answering or some uh, uh, user answering prediction based system sort of things, then I think you should go and have a kind of research exploration. Additionally, you can go on to some uh, other uh, uh, data sets uh, related to this particular data set. And then you can have the sort of idea that uh, what sort of other things that you can do. Okay, now when coming to the related other data sets, so the hotpot QA means the hotpot question answer, then natural questions and race are some of the most closely related data sets with respect to this particular data set. And uh, obviously the question generation, answer uh, generation, and the question answering session maintenance, et cetera. And the sort of uh, understanding with respect to NLP also, many people do say that uh, just to have the understanding of NLP, if you have the basic understanding of question answering session that you improve your models or the sort of things. So you can have the basic idea that what sort of thing you can perform with respect to a text data set or this particular data set. If you don't have, then you can go to Google Scholar, then you can go to any uh, scholar medium or the uh, search engine where you can find some of the scholar articles. So I tell you some of the articles because so many papers have made use of this particular data set. And uh, the one of uh, the available works is fine tune the entire RAG architecture, including the DPR retriever for question answering. Additionally, the Distly BERT, uh, a distilled version of BERT, is smaller, faster, cheaper, and lighter is also available. Additionally, the are pre-trained convolutions better than pre-trained transformers. Then the scale efficiency in exploring the insights from pre-training and fine-tuning transformers is also presented. So in this way, multiple works uh, have made use of this particular data set, and it's a promising data set. And uh, people do say that uh, if you want to have the sort of Creative Commons license data set, then it becomes quite easy to have its exploration and uh, making its use in your researcher. So it is available with this particular data set. I wish you all the best to go for uh, research with this particular data set. And uh, in uh, squared, the correct answers of questions uh, can be any sequence of tokens uh, in the given text. So uh, as the questions and answers are produced by the humans through crowdsourcing, it's uh, more diverse than some of the question answering data sets. So in this way, it is the kind of edge of this particular data set in comparison to other data sets. 
So thanks for watching this particular video regarding the text data sets and uh, hope you'll have liked it. And uh, if you do think that some of the analysis were wrong, please do criticize the video, comment down below. And thanks for watching again. Happy learning.